The next sensor we're going to look at is the accelerometer. Now the accelerometer is really cool. What it actually does, is it measures how much g-force is acting on the actual board and it acts on the three different axes, the x, the y and the z. So again, if this is the board, my beautiful model of the board, so the x is that way, is, is that way, sorry, the y is, is forward and backwards and the z is up and down. And so if you move that, you're going to experience more than one g, you're going to exp yeah, experience g forces. So this is what actually measures. So let's have a look how we're going to run this. Now, the whole thing about a, um, uh, accelerometer is it needs to be continuously measuring, it just doesn't do one-off measurements. We have to put that into an endless um, loop. So I'm going to put a while true loop here and now we're going to um, get the um, acceleration readings or reading. Okay, so I'm going to call um, acceleration equals sense get now. Um, the actual uh, raw, accelerometer raw is the actual um, value that we're going to get here from here. It's going to tell us exactly how much g-force, how much gravity is actually running, um, working on that. Again, that will return like before a, a dictionary and then we can break that dictionary um, down into its different parts by using the reference. Um, Excel or the index. Excel X is going to be the X value. I'm going to store the Y value in um, the Y variable there, and I'm going to store the Z value in a Z um, variable there. Okay, so now because these are going to have really long numbers and it's going to be really confusing, what we're actually going to do, we're going to round, which we've done before, I'm going to round those values down. Um, so just basically x equals int and um, I'm going to make, turn it, the float into an integer and I'm just going to round it to the, oh, sorry, okay, got you there, just round you to um, the nearest whole number. So we get the nearest whole number of G forces that is being um, experienced here. So, sorry, um, int round x equals zero and close that bracket off and finally y equals integer of round z is zero as well. Okay, so now I've got all those, I need to print them out. Um, and again, I'm just going to use an f string to do that. So um, x equals, and in the curly brackets, we can put the value of x. Um, y equals, in the brackets, I'm going to put the y value. And z equals the z value. And close that bracket off. And so I'm going to run that now. Oh, what is it looking for? What have I got the error? Um, line 19, and I didn't close off my string. Isn't that silly me? Right here, yeah. um, now, as I forgot the last time to do this, I want you to actually see if you can um, pause it for a second and speculate what's going to happen if you run it. And now I'm going to, so pause it, and now you come back, let's run it and see what happens. So you can see it's now going through and it's saying this is what the values are at the moment. So, and I'm going to go over to here, which is actually where the, um, the pi is, I'm going to move the pi around, and you'll notice that as I move the pi around, it actually has different values occurring. So, there you are. There is um, there is the different values of the um, of the accelerometer. So, I want you to you know, see if you can change it, play around, um, and see what we can come up with, and then we'll see you in the next video.